Fuck off car. My solar project is go. I've decided that I'm gonna put solar on this south facing side wall of my house. There's been a lot of drawings. I think I've done a bit of story on that. I will revert back to that in this video. There's been a lot of jiggery pokery, trying to get panels on it and stuff like that. Wondering whether it's worth it. And 10 minutes ago, I ordered the inverter. So I've just started taking these outside lights down. I've got a, um, I've got to deal with this fucking boiler pipe. I've got to get that satellite dish down and stuff. But yeah, it's going ahead because I'm going to get 1,700 kilowatts a year out of this for an investment, DIY investment of about 1,500 quid. So uh, got to be worth it. I'll show you some more. There's a south facing wall. I'm at the other end of the south facing wall now. If you work out where I live, come around and rob me. I'll bat the fuck out you. Yeah. yeah, down here around the back, there's my battery and it's a carpentry made shed. That's staying where it is, thanks to Kato. It wouldn't have happened without you. Now, that was going to be a decking cover. But now, I'm going to put the inverter here, above it, so there'll be a massive decking cover that covers both of them. And my plan is to bring a plastic conduit across here, to that, and pick up the DC. That'll then go along here, and pick up the DC strings behind. There's the battery lock, and it's Copexes that do all its gubbins. In there, there is a four millimeter for the battery in and out. There's a 2.5 millimeter for the emergency power supply and the second one check or anything with. The bottom one has got the CT cables in and the data cable. That other data cable, Bosch on the bottom, is just for some cameras in the back garden. I'm gonna have to pull that top filler out and get another copex through there, which is ironic really because I only filled that in last week. I think I was doing myself a favor. The cables are all gonna run along this height then, along here. And the inverter is going to go probably just under that wood and they'll come across here and go down all the gubbins up there. Everything's outdoor on this job. So the inverter's outdoor, the isolator's outdoor, the whole lot's outdoor. Um, just realised that I can't get across there a lot because that's in the way. So yeah, I've got to start thinking. In fact, I'll probably come across along there at eye level. Duh, 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 duh. I'm going to clean all the old chalk marks out of the wall that I've been setting out with. Do some proper setting out. I've spent more time working it out on the computer, doing the CAD, seeing how things fit. I've proper gone for the planning, the decorate style planning here. It's all in the prep and the planning. So now I can fit the panels on the wall. There's five along the bottom and two along the top. Five on the bottom in horizontal, two across the top in the landscape. So yeah, we're in there. I've ordered it, so I've got no fucking choice. I've got a bit of tools off noon, so I'm gonna take stuff down. Also, it'll get the neighbors excited because they know something's happening and start coming around the house to own it, mate. So when I built this extension, I don't know, I must have finished it 15 years ago. We got out of my missus for over 10 years, nearly 10 years, over 10 years, I don't fucking know. And this extension was done. And I think I finished about three before that. So these lights were made by Aurora. They were very fashionable at the time. They've got lamps in, they're all wired up, they're ready to go. They've never been turned on. Well, they've been turned on once to test them by bodging the cables into a socket outlet. So they're going, they must cost a fucking fortune. Um, I'm that lazy. I've never filled the puddling holes in, look, so they've got to be filled in. So I've got the best part of the day's work to fucking prep this wall up. I also need to get rid of that, that trampy satellite dish, because that's what tramps have on their ass satellite dishes. You might as well just say you're giving money to Rupert Murdoch. And I think the TV has got to move. So yeah, I've probably got the best part of a day just prepping the wall up before I can even start with who. Jokes aside, no duff, no duff. Always fuck your ladders, yeah? I'm not going up there. If they can go over there, always tie off or fuck your ladders. I'll just say it once more, yeah, in case you're thick. Always tie off, or if your ladder's footed, don't put your back to an edge. Don't go near a fucking dip. Be aware where you are. Don't fuck around the scaffolding. Don't fuck around the ladders. Don't fuck around the steps. Always fuck your ladders. Space is at a premium there, so see that gap? The, the hole? One course of that is the panel, which goes to about there. One, two, three four and five, lose about six and lose each edge. Then in here, off that center line, there's a panel that just squeezes in there. That's gonna have to move, I'm not sure how much yet. My plan is, I know it'll work with four panels. I'm gonna put these five in. Boom, 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 boom. The other two are gonna sit on top of it. I'm gonna fuck around with that once I know exactly where they're going. I might even just take these two panels back out so I don't damage them. Or I could just risk moving that somewhere where it'll be right in the way, but I'm not going to. Not until I've actually got a physical panel or I've done some proper measuring out, but that's a fucking pain in the arse. I offset it because the satellite just got set, which I did not put up. So I had no choice, but that's a cunt of a job that I've got to do.
I've got this little wall to stun as well, but I can't reach the puddling holes. But I've managed to reach the light, so I've got fucking loads of these holes to fill. So I think I'm going to go buy a bag of sand cement. I've finished quicker than I thought today. And with all these low ones, do all these high ones, and these four super high ones up there, all mine getting knocked off. But I think I'll just go and buy some sand cement to get them done. So at least I can say my wall is prepped, and I can start putting a piece of conduit up for my cables to go into from a DC. How oh, very exciting! Like I've never done a bit of conduit before. Inverters arrived. So I bought that, three kilowatt jobby, so the solar is a go-go. Also to buy some other ancillary stuff, some crimpers. Bought the cheap Nipex knockoff ones, because the nip these were 30 quid, I think, 20 quid, 30 quid. The Nipex ones are like fucking 150, plus the jaws, I'm not using them every day. A drum of what looks like to be a reasonable quality cable, made on the cheapest drum in the world. I already have an AC isolator, got some MC4 connectors. Got some beautiful cable, I think that might be too big though, which one's that? That's some 3G25 I'd left over. Got a little ancillary bag, so we oh, got some crypto with it as well. I don't know if I'm going to be able to fit that in that plug. And then I got this. What the fuck is this for? Does anyone know what this is? Hmm, don't know what that's for. I need to get a move because I'm all project now. I've got the solar project going off. I ain't got the panels, but I've got pretty much everything else, except like the panels and the bracketry. I'll do them without while I'm wired in. I've got this video on going. Watch out for that podcast shit to do when i get back around to doing that i've got all this shelly project on which i didn't even start yet i need to get on with that and i've got this plumbing project to go off here where i've got to change for the valves then i've got a load of other shit going off uh yeah but these projects they're just they're just collections of parts them and i need to get a fucking move on because nothing's nothing's going anywhere got the space where my solar's gonna go on the wall here so what i realized was there's the invert look i realized that once i fix this to the wall um, I'll have some solar EV renewable shit going off and you won't. So if you haven't got any solar EV or renewable shit going off, unfollow me now because I'm better than you. So fuck off. Sorry, that's just how it is apparently with these things. Cheers, bye. I'm getting there, look. <laughs> okay, not, not bad for two and a half hours work. I ought to pants some of them bullshit shots that uh, people who think they know about EV do on the ground. I'll do that. Like that bullshit, I'll probably just take a picture of it at the end. I'll do me.